Hi guys, welcome to yet another living room lesson. As always, these are on Sundays, so if you like them, make sure to check here every Sunday. But today I wanna to talk about Doremi Facility Do versus A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. What is better, what do I like to use, and what are the differences? Because I've been getting a lot of questions about this lately. People that go like, dude, you're so fucking weird. Why are you using A, B, C and not the Doremi which you're supposed to use? Well, first of all, you're not supposed to use anything. And second of all, these two are two completely different things. So in order to make you understand what the difference is between the two, I'm going to describe two skills and then put the Do Re Mi next to the ABC. And you can see what I'm talking about. The most familiar key that we know is the C major skill. Okay, and it consists of these notes right here. Technically only the top seven, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And then the C is just to finish it. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. It's just so nice to have that C there, right? And that's what we usually do. So if I would put this in Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Ti, Do, we would have C is Do, D is Re, E is Mi, F is Fa, G is So, etc, etc. If I pick any other skill, we're going to see something interesting, because right now you may remember, ah, an E is Mi, an F is Fa, okay? So therefore, if I pick this skill, which is the A major skill, and then of course we have some uh, sharps right here. A major skill, we may say, okay, A is La, B is T, etc, etc. And that will make a lot of sense somehow. But weirdly enough, that's not how it goes. In classical music, sometimes it, it did used to go like that with a fixed do. But right now we have a flexible one. So yet again, even though this is something completely different, we have sharps right now, and there's no sharps right here. We have do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, and the same here, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Yet here the do is an A, here the mi is a C sharp, and here it's an E. The la is an F sharp, and the la here is an A. The, the T is a G sharp and the T over here is a B. And I can do this again with another skill and it will be completely different again. And that's exactly the reason why in my lessons I don't use the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do because it doesn't help you to learn to play the piano necessarily when we just want to learn a song. Because if I tell you right now, okay, I want you to play Do, Fa, La, Mi just play that on the piano, then you cannot do that because the first question you would ask me, well, Mark, but what is the do? Should I play this note right here or should I play this note right here? Okay, and if you do not know that, you cannot play that song. You have no idea where to start because the do can be any of these 12 notes on the piano. So you have no idea where to go. That is exactly why I like to use the alphabetical system C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C because they do not move on the piano and I can add the sharps and I can add the flats in order to indicate the black notes or the special notes right here. All of that, bringing that together, it makes it so much easier to learn to play the piano using this system right here. Now. Let's explain why this system is sometimes used and how it's useful. So before we're gonna move on, I wanna quickly remind you of the Kickstarter campaign currently going on. We have 46 days left before it closes, and when it closes, you no longer have the option to join. So what is it all about? It's the living room lessons that I'm doing right now, but it's a lot more intensive. I'm actually taking you along on a journey starting at the beginning point with the fundamentals and working you all the way up to the level of a piano expert. We're gonna be doing exercises, music theory, learning songs, it's going to be a really cool course, the best course I've ever made yet. And you can opt in to get 12 lessons, 24 lessons or 48 lessons. Then every euro that you pledge towards this course 
will get you two tickets. So you can get a maximum of 100 tickets in the piano giveaway that I'll be doing on January 1st. So make sure to check that out. So first of all, if you haven't seen the previous living room lessons, make sure to watch them. That's one that covers the notes, okay? If you don't know all the note names. And the other one covers skills. And that one is very important when talking about this, okay? So let me explain here how this works. When I have any skill, there's seven notes in there. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And then we go back to C again. So it's the same one. So it's seven notes. So if I write down the C major scale, we can basically say this is note one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? And then we say do, re, me. Okay, so you should first put the numbers and then go here because that means that these numbers are the thing connecting the notes. It's not a straight connection. You have to go through the number first. So in the C major scale, the C is number one and therefore the C is do. D is number two, it's re. E is number three, it's me, etc. And this means that we can put any scale above here and then we can find the matching notes. This also means that do, re, mi, fa, sol, ti, do don't indicate specific notes. It indicates the way that these notes are corresponding to each other. As I showed you in my skills lesson, there are certain differences between all of these notes, between the distance, and that's what do, re, mi, fa, sol, ti, do is indicating. So basically, this is always the same because it applies to a scale and it's basically saying play note one, play note two, play note three, play note four, play note five, play note six, seven of that scale. It's mainly used in teaching people how to sing and it's also very helpful in order to know which note is coming next in the scale to have a listen to the sound of it. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, Okay, no matter which note I start on, these will always be the same. Okay, so I can just wipe these and put any other key up here. Doesn't matter, let's say uh, the A flat major key. A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F flat, G. And this will also match because all it's doing is it's saying Do is number one, Re is number two, Mi is number three, etc, etc. So when people ask me why do you not use this system, as I've said before, because all of these do not indicate a note, okay? It just, it indicates the position of the notes in a scale, if that makes any sense. If this is difficult for you to grasp, make sure to watch that lesson about scales because it's really important. Otherwise, you, you will not really understand what is going on here. But basically, do, re, mi, fa, so, ti, do is just referring to the position of the notes in the scale. Whereas these notes can be very different depending on the scale and these are way easier to indicate a certain song. If we, for instance, have a look at this part of Riff Flows in You. Note-wise, we play this. And if you repeat that in Do, Re, Mi. So in alphabetical, we would get A, C sharp, A, G sharp, A, A, G sharp, A. And in the solfege, we get do, mi, do, so, do, do, so, do. The only difference is that when I play here, I know exactly where to be in the piano. And when I play this, I may just as well be here, for instance. Okay, so I really do not know where to start with this. I have to first know the key and all of the notes that are in the key. And if you don't know that, then it's very difficult to play with this. Um, and if you do know it, then still, to me, this is rather confusing because, yeah, like, the, is this the T, the So, the Fa? I don't know, because it keeps on changing all the time. And for me, it's just very easy to remember. This is a C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And it always stays the same, no matter which song I play. So, I definitely have the preference for the letters. And, um, and if you have the preference for this, that's absolutely fine, but my lessons don't. So like, <laughs> please learn the notes as well. So that's it for now. I wanna thank you so much. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I hope to see you next Sunday.